Hello and welcome. Today what we're going to be talking about is group mentality and about as a leader that need to be out there stepping out there on your own and just a few subtleties just so that you can see when you're following the group, <clears throat> sorry excuse me, and when you are stepping out alone uh, because quite often we follow blindly just because we've been conditioned to believe that somebody who's superior to us, somebody who has been around or is older than us, knows more about something than we do. And the reason I actually came up with this topic was because I was thinking about one of my children and their peers. And when we've been here now a year, but he sort of gets wrapped up <clears throat> in what his friend's doing because they've been here longer than him, um, most of them are older than him, and he just sort of thinks that they know better than him. And I was trying to sort of think of a way of explaining to him that actually just because somebody is doing something doesn't mean that they know something better than you. And for me, about the whole point of being a conscious leader is about learning to listen to yourself because you have an inner wisdom that supersedes anything that anybody else may think they know. And it's in learning to check in with that that you're going to start designing your own path and walking your own path. And in my eyes, truly becoming a real leader. Because a real leader, it takes courage and it takes stepping out of and through fear to be able to take your life in a direction that is in alignment with who you want to be as a person. Because every time you defer to somebody else and allow them to make decisions and choices, you're basically saying that they are more powerful than you are and that they have more knowledge and wisdom and you hand your life over to them, trusting in them. And that's not to say you shouldn't trust in other people's knowledge and wisdom. It's just saying that you need to filter it all through your own senses and find out, and even with all these things that I'm sharing you, check in with yourself and ask yourself, does this ring true for me? Is this useful for me? Is this something that will take me towards what I want to do or further away from it? Um, but most of all, just check in with yourself. Does it make you feel lighter and more expanded, more alive, more vital? Or does it make you feel uneasy or uncertain or fearful? Because those things, that's why we have these sensations. We have them to guide us. And when we use them correctly, they can guide us to our, our biggest greatness, um, if that's even a possibility. <laughs> So they can guide us to our greatness anyway. Um, I hope this helps and I hope that, I think I've spoken about listening to your intuition before, but I'm sure I'll do it again in another couple of weeks um, because to me it's so incredibly important. Um, have a stunning week ahead. I uh, wish you loads of love and all the best. And if you like what I share, please like it, share it. Um, what's it? Subscribe to my channel and all the rest of it. Loads of love. Bye-bye.